Well, 172.1 kilometers starting in the cycling mecca of Girona, where many of today's pros live. Up four first category climbs through yesterday's finish in Olot and up into the foothills of the Pyrenean Mountains. In the jersey today is Boris Thron, who's been in two breakaways so far. And as he is over the Alta Dossas at 1,725 metres, it's a 6.3 kilometre long climb. Hubdain over it first, almost coming to a stop at the top, waiting for his mates before dropping down again. And maximum points for him in the King of the Mountains classification. Etics on the left-hand side of the screen, just looking over their shoulder, obviously looking after Dan Martin, Team Sky still on the right-hand side here, leading the bunch. But I think this is where the time will start to drop now. We've got this fight, this battle for supremacy, just to try and keep your team leaders up front and out of trouble as we hit the bottom of this final climb. Vivac now goes clear, but, well, he looks over his shoulder and he can see the peloton coming. He knows he's, he's got to do it all all himself with eight kilometers to go though it's a big big ask here we go on the left hand side with what pools now taking it up always a move here and we it's go a big big move in fact pools putting in the first attack for team sky contador i think he's going to follow here well contador he has to this is a good move by team sky they've got uh, they've got riders to play with and that means that Froome and Thomas, they can follow. Quintana comes now. Quintana then getting a first few little bike lengths and he wants the leader's jersey today. He wants the stage win. There are Colombian fans around as Dan Martin sets off in pursuit as well for Eddick's quick step. So it's Quintana and Martin as the Irishman is ready to sail right past him. Quintana has nothing left to give right now. TJ Van Garderen from BMC is also there being marked by Chris Froome but this is the steepest section here they go past the team buses only a few hundred meters to go now this is a good move by Dan Martin and Froome behind struggling Froome is losing wheels as well so we're going to see the first few little differences remember 10 6 and 4 bonus seconds on the line as well at the minute advantage Dan Martin the gradient is going to get a lot easier and Sky after all the work all day have had all of their riders drop Chris Froome and Geraint Thomas both cracking and this surely is going to be Dan Martin's day. Contador has reacted really well with Bardet in third at the minute. The victory is going to go to Dan Martin, little doubt about that. It is Dan Martin, the former winner of this race, the one he calls home and Martin is the winner with Contador in second, Bardet in third, TJ Van Garderen's up in fourth with Richie Port there too, Quintana as well. Dan Martin wins by two seconds ahead of Alberto Contador with Roman Bardet in third General classification looks like this after the first mountain stage with Dan Martin leading the race he's already won on one previous occasion by six seconds from Spain's Alberto Contador who's never won here. Eight back is Balde in third with Van Garderen at 12, Ports at 19 the defending champion.